distracted. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. Shit. You heading up there? Uh, need help? No, I'll find him. Hey, wait a sec. Boozer. Sorry. You there? Booze man. Uh, yeah, Dick. Yeah, Dick. I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's, it's getting dark out. Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Just, just stay here. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, please, okay. I'm at the, uh, at the farm. Oh, Crap. Here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Boozman! Damn it! Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Nah, no, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever. Boozer! You there? Who's man? Where the hell are you, Booze Man? Skizzo said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these uh, farmhouses. You can use this. This is... Boozer! Are you in here? Nope. This looks like it. Good book to read. Well, whiskey bottle. Empty. Wait a second.
need scrap. Boozer. Booze, man. You said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh, wait. Oh. Oh, the other farm. The, I'm, um, I, I, I went to the other farm. You know, I, I found a sixer. <laughs> so, I thought I'd go for a walk, you know, like this. Boozer, what are you doing? More beer bottles. Empty. Tracks. Okay. So you're not in the barn. Farmhouse. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a barn. Not. Boozer! Are you in here? Booze man! Upstairs. Bedroom. Which way? And another beer bottle. That's wet or oh. Ask. Boozer, where are you? Booze! I, I thought you were gonna come um, have a beer with me and take a walk. <laughs> Boozer, just where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see? What's nearby? Give me a give me a landmark or something. Told you. Oh. oh, look at that shit. Look at what, Boozer? What do you see? The road. The road's... I, wow, this is... It's gone. Like, like somebody came and I don't know, just like, swept it away. The road's gone? Oh, yeah. The, the, like, somebody came and just swept it away. Gone. I'm walking... I'm, and, and now the road is just gone. Where, where are you going, Boozer? Home. That's where I'm going. Home. Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bite. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. Dude. Home. Hey, Boozer. Okay, let's take a look around. Back on track. That's gotta be him. Gotcha. Boot prints. Bingo. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I, uh, I followed your tracks. Just like you taught me. Uh, Boozer, come on. Stay put, will ya? There he is! A little late for a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, oh, well, we can't home. go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you. Don't want to be no, doing you wanna take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! 
Okay. So this is it? This is how we're going out? Get out no, here, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? What did I do? Well, what did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle. And you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer, is this it? This is how we're going out? Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Go faster, then. Ah, it's a curse! Wrecked cars. I see him, Boozer! that asshole, let alone make him head of security. <laughs> One of the guys brought in a sick collie. It's a beautiful dog. But I told him to take it to our vet. We couldn't let her in. Deke, did you find him? No room, so yeah, Ricky, I found him. <sighs> How is he? I didn't even know oh, Let's just say that tomorrow he's gonna have one hell of a hangover. People, I mean. A hangover. Good. I'll remember that when I stop by to see him at six in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. Rabid. He deserves it. Deke? I'm glad he's okay. Hey, Ricky. I, uh... I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great. But, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Oh, uh, oh hold on. Oh, please, thank you. So, oh. if it, oh, I'm sorry about that. So, uh, you, you want me to, you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? 
when I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts and I will radio what I need. Cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon St. John to Iron Mike. Deke, you and Schizo, you find them? The explosives? Yeah, Mike, uh, we got them. Schizo's on his way back with everything that we found. Listen, so, Mike, uh, I gotta tell you. We That's great. Crazy That's way. great. Now, we can't use them till we find some dead cord. You know that, right? I'll take files we got. Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's, um... Jesus, what now? You boys try and shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh... He wants to run the camp, Mike. He told me him... Oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist and I'm gonna get us all killed. I know he's been talking. Mike! Deke, like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but... It... It's not like we don't got ours. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Mike, out. Uh, Jesus, all right. Have it your way, Iron Mike. You always do. Wait a sec. Sorry. Yes, Deke. Loser, you there? Yeah, Deke. We just got off work. I got to spend the morning hauling buckets of shit. Oh, Jesus, goddamn schizo. I'd be lying if I told you I didn't miss him. Being out in the shit. What are you doing? Still out there chasing Nero? Playing follow the chopper? Yeah. Good luck. Tracking down what happened to Sarah? No, not yet. How long are you gonna let him keep stringing you? He's not. He's he's looking into it. it. It takes time. Just don't get your hopes up, brother. What? That's all I'm saying. Out. Good piece. Should help out in the shit. Yeah, I can upgrade that. What else can I do for you? Okay, sure. You want anything else? Hey, Deke, I'm I sorry. got a good one for you. Mike, hey, what's up? Ricky handed me a shopping list. Said it was for Boozer? Said I should radio you. Okay, where's Ricky? Yeah. Something came up with Addie, I don't ask. Anyway, she needs a galvanized metal pipe. Tube, kind used in building. She needs a carbon alloy blade, the kind hunters use, and finally some metal scrap. That list make any sense to you? Uh, yeah, Mike, like you said, I don't ask. <laughs> Deacon out. Okay, what do I need? I need a blade or metal tube, scrap. Ah, Jesus, Ricky. Metal tube, metal tube. Can't just be any metal tube, can it? Gotta find one from a construction site. 
Wait, 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 hold on a second. There was a house um, under construction at Marion Forks. I bet I can find something there. Wake you. Brother, I've been working the shovel all day. I pretty much pass out as soon as I hit the bunk. What's going on? Just checking on you, brother. Just making sure that you didn't wander off on another midnight dance with a horde. Hey, don't worry about me. From the sound of it, you're the one out on a joyride. Hey, I gotta get some shut eye. Talk later. Out. Battle two. Where are you? Hey, D. Can you stop by? Ricky, yeah, I'll bet you got a job for me. Uh, okay, I'll stop by. Deacon up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that'll do it. Blade. Where am I gonna find a blade? Wait, 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 where, where was that sporting goods store? This is Radio Free Oregon. Truth shall set you free. Today, I wanna talk about drugs. Now, I don't much care for them. They keep you numb, unreliable, and silent. In 1996, the CIA was accused of dealing cocaine in Central America. Here it is. Now, I just gotta find a blade. They brought cocaine up from South America by the plane load. Barrels of the stuff got us hooked on it. Kept us complacent. Kept us high. Kept us under the heel of their rich boots. And oh, did they get profit from our misery? The Feds made millions to fund their secret operations, all while destroying the very heart and soul of this good country. But thankfully, at last, all that is in the past. At least, for my people. Stay sober, people. Stay alive. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, you ever lose an arm, Cope? Maybe when you do, you'll find yourself wanting a bottle of whiskey, or two, or three. In the meantime, shut the hell up. Here we go. Yeah, this ought to be enough. Now, uh, I just gotta get all this crap back to Ricky. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Mr. Deacon I, No matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured if I could get a few people. Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do, yeah? Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah, 
Boozer's one of us now. Dave, I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You know them? No, but uh, I seen them around. What's 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 going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lake shore is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east, over to the Metolius River. The hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. that they always used to go to. I marked it on your map. Okay, I'll start there. Deacon out. Okay, the girls are fishing. Oh, shit. Marauders, Jesus. Coming.
That did it. Tammy, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not here to hurt you. Ricky sent me. They killed my sister. They killed Abigail. No, oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, we just have to get you back to camp. Come on, come on, with me. No, no! No, I can make it myself. I can. Okay, go, go. Shit! Got it. Somebody's at the gate. Mr. Deacon. Me and a couple Saint of guys John. burnt out and nested in this back. You know, freak your nest. Just right in the okay. crease there. Okay. Got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go, that's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, it was all Deacon. <laughs> oh, that's really, really that. cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, those yeah. three goddamn musketeers. Hungar, <laughs> you fucking right. ripper. <laughs> Pretty oh, hey. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, maybe this wasn't that good of an idea? Yeah, maybe. Damn it. Okay. Got good shit in stock today. St. John, you there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. Brian, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. And one last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey, hey. You wanted somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Schizo's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Schizo, I'll drop you off right afterward. 
When's the last time you saw a helicopter? That telling me twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Where are we headed? Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? The Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, O'Brien, he's, uh, he's what? Your shot caller? Handler? No. Jesus, boozer. You know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump, you ask how high. It's not how it is. So how you holding up? Not bad. Uh, it's been worse. I actually don't mind the farm with the weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at uh, by Adrian on the Idaho border. I'd spend summers working the beet fields. Yeah, a little dirt bike I tool around on. Well, right. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Deke. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay close. Right behind you. I haven't heard that for a while. There it is. Hey, let me know Jesus. when the LC's locked down. I never thought I'd see one of those again. Listen up. The Once the perimeter locked down, I don't watch. Soldiers that? come out first, they secure the LZ. And their boy genius, researcher, scientist, whatever the hell, he comes out, he looks around. Do what? Whatever science shit they're doing out here. How the hell would I know? You're the one who's been spying on them. Wait here. You got it. Sound off, people. All clear. All clear. Uh, yep, clear. Hey, what you got there, Doc? Really? <laughs> okay, if you must know. Picking up scat samples. Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. 
Good taxpayer money, and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing, or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south, and with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished. Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. You wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien said he had news. He knew her middle name, Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that we, they, they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of Okay, So, so she could still be alive, even after all this time. She could still be alive. You're saying no. What do you mean no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived. They survived. Look, 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 there was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel? The soldiers? The guys with the guns? The guys who should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. I know all They're about hordes. Well, they know that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, there was, we had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand, if you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <sighs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. 
Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, God damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Ah, oh, shit. Right. Booze, man, where the hell did you go? Boot tracks. That's gotta be his. What the hell is this? What do we got? Uh, this way. Still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah. Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, great. Let me know when. Hot water now. I'm gonna let that shower run forever. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's that it sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go. All right, Deacon out. Deke, over here. Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. You are shit. He's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't. God. We can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't. We can't do it right here. Here, let me. Jesus, Dick. It's okay, just... That's it, all right. It's okay, big guy. Rest. We're one you ready? Line. Oh yeah, brother. I'm ready. What's that? Sounds disappointed. I just, I hate those sons of bitches, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> so what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like uh, like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just, I needed some payback for this shit. But uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know. If you hadn't made this shift for me, you know, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I mean, I 
is it? Well, you know. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. Hey, there's your bike. Hey, how'd it go? How'd uh, what go? You know, goddamn well, you're getting the spacesuit. What'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? <laughs> Stay down, brother. <laughs> Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you've mourned her long enough? <laughs> I think. I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camp ain't gonna feed itself. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a shift. Give me a ride up there. It's it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. So she died that night. And there was nothing you or anyone could have. So, she died that night, and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. So, she died that night, and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? You just had a run in with. Hey, where the hell is you, bro? He skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? Would you sh just sh shut up and listen to me? I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by rippers. Oh, Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling? For months. Yeah, I'll let him know. We're heading toward Tumalo now. Boozer will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Deke. The uh, road camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. Asshole. Oh, goddamn Schizo. Come on, you guys. Come on, keep working. 
Keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. Right already. That's it. Hey. Thanks for the ride. You all start. There you go. I hear you. Mike, good. Look, Boozer and I, uh, we just had a run-in with Rippers. They... Uh, Rippers? God damn it, you boys crossed the Iron Ridge. Dick, I told you. Just listen. No, Mike. They were here in Rogue Camp. Rogue Camp? There were Rippers in Rogue Camp? You sure it was Rippers? Am I sure it was? Oh, Jesus, Mike, yeah. I'll go first. Deacon. I'm so sorry that no one came. I guess we really pissed off everyone. On both sides. Well, I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. <sighs> this ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. It has no beginning and no end. I love you. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, let me, let me just go. Oh, 
Get a room! <laughs> Who's man? You there? Yeah, Deke. What's up? You remember that little church? The one Sarah and I got married in? Well, I found a couple of assholes trashing the place. Wish I'd been there. I'd help you kill them all. Here. Addy, you there? Hey, Deke. Lost Lake Infirmary, can you read me? Deacon, I'm here. Addy, good, good luck. Um, are you gonna be around for a while? You got what you need? Yeah, everything I could think of. Let's go. Well, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at last leg, and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. And what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here! Shit! Swarmers! I was hoping it was gonna be clear! Nah, why would we have that kind of luck? I got a use for you.
Okay, I think that's all of them. Crap. At last. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. Ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! If you fall, it ain't like I can catch you! I'll try to keep that in mind. Another bounty. Shit! Notes! I got him! Dig! Try it! God damn it. Well, that was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. Wow, 
and word gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay. Now, the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters ride into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Now, for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. She can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is gonna happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. So the woman in the photo, that was her? That was my wife, yeah. Dumb question. I'm I'm sorry, Deke. No, don't be. She's uh she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to I, I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. Okay. Addie? Addie! Now the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip, strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean uh, that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell <laughs> you were doing. All right, this. <clears throat> Might hurt. Just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just huh? Sh hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh, I don't remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, I hear that Addie doesn't really like um, people messing around in her business. Yeah, I, 
I heard that too. What about this one? Dick, I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... <sighs> Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon. <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. Hey, hey, I heard a rumor that you're looking for those black choppers, Nero. Is that true? I think I saw one the other night. All right, see you later, Deke. Got good shit in stock today. Buzz. All right, I got you. I'll be here if you need me. I'm here if you need me, man. Ricky. What the hell's the name of the I found her alive. Deacon, thank God. Look, she wouldn't come with me, so you gotta send someone who knows her, okay? She's on her way back to camp. Okay. Can I help you? All right, okay. Ricky out. Deke, we got a real problem on our hands. You remember Richard Marsden? He used to ride for us. Oh, you mean Rick the Prick Marsden, yeah. I remember him. I thought Al Kai ran him out of camp. He work. did. But, oh, I guess Marsden wasn't too happy about it. Please, no. He joined a group of drifters no. down at the Black Crater, no led an attack against a supply run. We lost three men. Oh, shit. I never liked that son of a bitch anyway. I'll take care of him. Oh, thanks, Deke. I knew I could count on you. Hey, a deacon, right? Who's the drift jagger? <laughs> what do you can say, John? You there? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, here. Like you told me what you've done. Same with Gabby and all. I just. just wanted to thank you. You let the gal since she was in diapers. Sure, I, yeah, I uh, just wish that I could have gotten to Abigail one time. You did what you could, and I'm grateful. See you, Deke. Glad you're on our side. My God. All right, Rick the Prick, Marsden, right now. All right, Rick the Prick, Marsden, where the hell are you? Bitch. He ain't got shit! 
Marsden. Kill him, I'll go! Tucker, I'm here. And Marsden looks like he's got himself a goddamn cover. cover. Doesn't surprise me. Behind him. He always Come on. Oh. Go back, everyone! Okay, uh, you were saying. Doesn't surprise me. He always seemed like the kind of man. Okay, what were you saying? Ha, doesn't surprise me. He always seemed like the kind of man who'd attract every dirtbag out in the shit. You want me to send Alki? Uh, no, I got this. Uh, what was he wearing? Same thing he always wore, one of those black coats down to the knees, cowboy hat. Had like this, you deserve to die, Rick the Prick. Oh shit, where'd you boys come from? Hey, did someone pick her up? Hey, Deke, yeah, she's fine. A little traumatized, but I guess no more than. I guess we all know what it's like to lose someone. Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah, see you, Ricky. <laughs> Addy, you there? Lost Lake Infirmary, can you read me? Jacob, I'm here. Addy, good, good luck. Um, are you gonna be around for a while? I, uh, I need to see you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, look, nothing. I'll, I'll tell you when I get there. Keep it out. Deke? Hey, we got a job for you. Ricky, hey, um, okay. Yeah, I'll check in. Deacon out. Hey, Deacon, right? What do you want? Hey, Tuck, got you a new hat. <laughs> nice job. Did he put up much of a fight? So, uh, do I get paid more if he did? No. Then why do you care? Just enjoying the thought of how much the son of a bitch suffered before he bled out. Well, Jesus, Tuck, I don't do this shit for your entertainment. Hey, no, 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 don't! Uh, I'm getting... St. John, he's okay. Deke, this is Tucker. Stop by. I've got work for you. Tuck, hey, okay. I'll see if I can make time. Deacon out. Addy. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Hi, it's Boozer. Is he okay? He's... Yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that. No. Sorry. Okay. Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. I got it. Thanks, Eddie. 